this is it. This is the point when I officially fall in love with Vienna. Amazing. Vienna and Paris are often compared and contrasted. You know, two cities very much alike, but very different in their feel. Paris is, a, I would say, a royal city in the king and queen sense. Whereas Vienna is more of an empire city. You can feel that this has been the center of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, you know, emperor, empress, dynasties. Paris is very warm. You walk down the streets, the city isn't, it doesn't impose itself on you. Vienna imposes itself on you. You see, you kind of feel small as you walk down the streets. It has a very commanding presence. Paris is romantic. Vienna is powerful. Paris also feels extremely well-preserved. Very homogenous in its architecture. By Osman. Vienna, in a sense, to my mind at least, to my eyes rather, isn't as well-preserved. It is as it was made throughout the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries. There have been new developments, which in a sense sometimes clash with the original architecture, which possibly adds to the feel of, you know, I'm here. The city tells you, I'm here. You cannot ignore me. Paris doesn't have that. Paris feels natural. Vienna, in a sense, may at times feel unnatural. Sort of like Dubai is currently. It's like every centimeter, every part of it is thought. And further, Parisian architecture seems more delicate, smoother, sophisticated. On the other hand, Viennese architecture is more clashing, sharper, stronger in a sense. The colors are more in your face, they clash. I would even say Paris has a feminine feel to it. More endearing, more inviting. Vienna is much more masculine. It's muscle, it's ambitious, it's red. Paris continues to be my favorite, not just in this comparison, but out of all the cities I've been to and possibly will ever be to. But for the similarities of both cities, Paris and Vienna, both are very laid back. They both celebrate life. They embrace it. They love it and they live it. A very chill atmosphere in both cities, especially among the youth. Very accultured, very aware of themselves and their surroundings. Well-traveled, of course, it's Europe. But also both cities, inhabitants of both cities, Parisian and Vienna, or Viennese, they're very aristocratic. You can feel their pride of their accomplishments, their history, their contributions to human civilization. Even today, the average Parisian, the average Viennese, the way they talk, their manner is very animated, chill, yes, but also, but also very, you know, conscious of who they are, which adds to the charm which turns both into extremely charming, attractive, gorgeous cities. There comes a moment when it hits you that when you travel, you're not just traveling three dimensions. 
you're traveling the fourth as well. It's not just the world, it's time. It's time you're traveling because people who also had two hands with five fingers on them, five digits, who loved and hated, who were happy and angry, who had stress and concerns, they made these 100, 200, 300 years ago, and now you're standing at the exact same spot they were standing at that time, seeing what they've built and what they saw, breathing the exact same air and just soaking it all in. Just soaking it all in with your five senses, with your body, your mind, your heart and your soul. It's moments. It's all about moments. Life is all about moments. It's the experiences. The unforgettable ones. It doesn't have to be good ones. It can also be bad ones. The ones that make you feel. The ones that make you feel alive. From the day you're born to the day you say goodbye. Live. Live those moments. That's what you're going to take away.